And hi everybody out there, Mark Mannering here from Class Training, continuing with our new Three Minute Thursdays, just with some great tips uh, on a Thursday, hopefully in three minutes more or less. Just going to cover some uh, very important stuff we uh, look at in our courses with uh, Outlook, Microsoft Outlook. Three big tips, three big suggestions for how to use your calendar better in Outlook. Now, my first big tip is that everything you do should end up on the calendar. We're talking about appointments, meetings, obviously, but also appointments with yourself. For example, you can see there, update the website. I've got uh, follow-up quotes. I've got uh, update the Excel advanced manual. They, they, they could be thought of as being to-dos or tasks, but if you don't schedule it, it won't happen. So put it on the calendar. You'll notice also, as soon as I put in a new appointment here, meet with new trainer, for example. In my case, as soon as I type in the word meet, it goes yellow. So all those yellow entries I've got have been color coded automatically with the keyword meet or meeting and so on. So we'll, we can cover that in other sessions later. You'll even notice I've got some personal or private things there, laps at the pool, <laughs> mow the lawns, uh, out to movies with Jenny. But uh, I've set those as being private and you just do that by right clicking, right clicking this one and saying private so that anybody who's sharing my calendar or looking at my calendar can see that I'm busy, but they can't see what I'm doing. And then the second big tip is what to do with tasks and to do's. And you can see those on the right hand side there. I've got rearrange office, update software and so on. And I've set those up as tasks because they're like goals. I don't know when I can uh, start to uh, schedule those or uh, start them off at all. Uh, I've got some due dates on them, as you can see there, next week, next month later. But I haven't got time to schedule those yet. So they're sitting there as goals, ready to be scheduled when I've got some time at some stage. Okay, and the third and final tip is to see a summary of all my schedule appointments and tasks and so on. Uh, if I go to the mail section down here, I just click on my actual email address at the top here, and you'll see the so-called Outlook today. And I've just zoomed in there just a little bit better. Uh, you can see the summary of the scheduled uh, items on the calendar. You've got my uh, goals there in the middle there. I've set up as tasks and I've got my messages on the right hand side there, a summary of the email. So this is a great heads up, a great summary of all the information you might have stored in your Outlook mailbox. Okay, that's it for another quick three minute Thursdays. Look out for the next one coming up soon. Uh, just in summarizing, number one, use your calendar for everything, all things that you do, meetings, appointments, also with yourself. And uh, number two is to use tasks for goals where you don't know when you can start to schedule those. And number three, use the Outlook today that you can see there to summarize all of your uh, information. Uh, now, all this is covered in our Microsoft Outlook courses. So look for those on the website. Uh, Mark Mannering signing off and uh, see you next time on Three Minute Thursdays. Thanks a lot. Bye.